Hello! It is that beautiful time of year. The birds are singing. The flowers are blooming. My birthday is in three days. Shane has been really excited about his birthday coming up. Yeah. Normally I'm not super about birthdays. This year though, it's my year. Great. Coming in the big two seven. Are my presents wrapped yet? Um, one present has arrived. One you can't wrap because it needs food and water. Oh. Puppy. Nope. To celebrate my birthday, we're going to be doing a live stream on this coming Tuesday, May 28th. His birthday. Best day of the year. So we've done two live streams, mm -hmm. I think, so far. And both times, people were super chatting, which we discovered is a thing. Like donating. Where yeah. they, like, send money, and yeah. then their comment pops up. Yeah. yeah. So we've decided that for Shane's birthday, all of the super chats that people do are going to be donated to Shane's charity, Laughing at My Nightmare. It's a really cool nonprofit that gives adaptive and medical equipment to people living with muscular dystrophy, like Shane. I mean, I don't Except get Except not Shane. I don't get the equipment. He doesn't, yeah, he can't grant to himself. So it's to other people with <laughs> muscular dystrophy. You can apply if you have muscular dystrophy. Right. Yeah, and he does speaking engagements to students through Laughing at My Nightmare. Yep, to teach about disability awareness. So, seriously, all the joking about my birthday is just me being dumb. But I am really excited because I hope that all of you will come out and watch and maybe donate a dollar or two to uh, support the work that we do at Latin The topic of today's video is Shane's disease. <laughs> Isn't that the topic of all? That's kind of the topic of the channel. How he got his disease, like the progression from childhood. People have asked us what he was like as a baby. And if he a, could walk. It's a really simple answer. I got my disease because I was bit by someone else who has the disease. Bit? Like you mean bitten? Bitten. <laughs> Have you heard of Dracula? Have you heard of rabies? That's not how I got my disease. Shane was born with his disease. Right from birth. Right I, in his DNA. I came, I came right out in my wheelchair. <laughs> it was much smaller. And they were like, oh God. yeah, he has SMA. <laughs> No, SMA is a genetic disease, so both of his parents were carriers, they didn't know. Apparently people can get SMA if their parents are not carriers, but that's rare, and yeah. Shane is not one of those yeah. rare cases. But yeah, my parents are both carriers, they did, did not have the disease themselves. So no one else does in his family. Super science -y. Yep. I don't understand it. Um, the neurologist at the clinic that we went to a couple of weeks ago, or not the neurologist, the geneticist, Yeah. she drew it all out for us. What did she pretend it was? Didn't she draw? What what did she draw? She was drawing the the double helix. Was she really? Right? I yeah. thought it was more easy. Did you think it was mind. noodles? <laughs> <laughs> noodles, yeah, I don't know. I saw spaghetti, whatever. <laughs> double helix, okay. No, huh? Those were chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> Not photons? No. <laughs> when I popped out of the room, because I, I came out forcefully. I ended up on the floor actually. They <laughs> completely missed me. Um Kind of a metaphor for how I would live the rest of my life. Just, you know, exceeding expectations. Uh, nope. None of this is true. Um, no. When I came out, they didn't know I had a disease. So it wasn't until I was about nine months old, I think, around then, mm -hmm. when other babies my age were beginning to crawl and move about, I was content to just sit on the floor wherever I was put and have things handed to me. <laughs> That's the metaphor for the rest of your life right there. <laughs> Forget the birth story, it's <laughs> right there. Eventually, my parents and my daycare teachers were like, you know, he's not really Motivated. In in <laughs> interested in crawling or moving, <laughs> or holding his head up. That is not true. You held your head up. I did. I did you hold still hold your head up. Look at me. Okay, oh, never mind. And so they took me to a doctor who was like, yup, uh, something's going on here. You need to go see a neurologist. So the local neurologist played with Shane for about an hour. It's probably not the best way to phrase that. Examined me. <laughs> the local neurologist examined Shane by handing him toys and playing with him uh, for like an hour to see how his movements were and like what was going on. At the end of that meeting, she told my parents that she believed 
I had a disease called spinal muscular atrophy. How did she know? Why didn't she think it was something else? Well, it's your job to kind of know that. But as it, like just to see, you know, like why not a different kind? I, I guess just, just the way I like, yeah, the, the yeah. way I presented with like my glimmering <laughs> eyes and my charm. Your intelligence. She knew right away. Oh, this is SMA. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't really know, but she knew, and she told them that in order to confirm the diagnosis, I would need to go down to Children's Hospital in Philadelphia for some more invasive and extensive testing. So little Shane and his parents went to Philadelphia and uh, spent like a week there for what? Nothing. What? <laughs> it sounds like the beginning of like a, a hero super like movie. Little Shane? Little Shane and his parents went down to Philadelphia. Or like a Bible story. Yeah, it sounds like a Bible story than a hero story. <laughs> anyway, he was there for like a week doing all sorts of tests that sound horrifying. The first one was a muscle biopsy where they yeah. cut his little baby leg open and <laughs> took out a chunk of baby muscle to this, test it. This left me with a really awesome scar. I would have to take my pants off to show you. Make sure you don't move the camera any further up my leg. <sighs> Here, wait, show them kind of where it is. So my tattoo covers it up, but it's the scar is right here. Line. You have to really focus. Yeah, I think you can tell. I didn't mean to cover up the scar with my tattoo, but when I went to get the tattoo, he was like, well, maybe I cover this up. He probably thought That's not that's, nice. He probably thought that's why I was there. Yeah, want it, me to cover this up? Well, I, he didn't mean that. I think he just meant like, should I go over this yeah. or stay away from it? Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, why not? Cover That's different that. than want me to cover that baby up. Yeah, I don't remember his phrasing from the <laughs> tattoo I got four and a half years ago. Want me to cover <laughs> this nasty, disgusting scar up? <laughs> I'm really sorry you had to see that. That was vile. It's probably going to get our channel flagged by some sort of <laughs> power figure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the, another test that they did, and obviously, I don't remember any of this. I was a baby. Um, so we're both telling it because we've heard it from his parents. Yeah. So they also did a electrocution <laughs> test. This isn't a joke. Uh, they put an electrified needle, if you can help me illustrate here, oh my God. into my shoulder and into my leg. You can imagine as a baby how much I loved that. That is so horrifying. But they were testing like how my muscles responded. Yeah. That. And they failed. Was it really uh, a needle or was it just like a patch? I don't know. I, I, I remember being told it was a needle. Oh my and to this day, I have a weird aversion to <laughs> pointy things. Electrified <laughs> needles? <laughs> so they did all these tests and it confirmed SMA type 1. And if you know anything about SMA, there are like three, like three main types. There's like, isn't there a four that's like... One, two, and three. Okay. And there is a four. There is a four, but there's like three main common types. Type one is the most severe and type three is the least severe. So type one, it presents a lot earlier and it's a lot more aggressive. And then type three presents sort of like later in, in life and type two is in the middle. So you were diagnosed with type one. Yeah, my genetics are actually type one. Um, well, to be determined. Yeah. I took another genetic test recently. Because it's improved, that. it's a newer way of doing it, so it might be more accurate. The point is, every other, like, physically, I am a type 2. Yeah. Like, by the book, type yeah. 2. Um, but your diagnosis but sheet. my diagnosis was type 1. Yeah. And the rest of my life, every doctor was like, no, you have type 2. Yeah. Like, that's why I always say, I have type 2. Yeah. Um, but in my chromosomes, I'm a type 1. This doesn't matter at all. But <laughs> that means absolutely it, nothing. It's just sort of a fun fact. Yeah. It's weird. When we saw the sheet, we were like, type 1. Yeah. Because it doesn't make any sense. That's my whole life. I've been living a lie. No. <laughs> so we got the diagnosis, and life began. We had, I mean, my parents, like, obviously weren't expecting this, but, you know, they kind of rolled with the punches, and it was like, all right, let's figure it out, and uh, let's have a good life. Like, physically, the highest milestone that I ever achieved was being able to sit upright on my own. It's pretty... 
the um, mar remarkable. Pretty low. Like, <laughs> I was gonna go the other way. You can go with remarkable. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I never did learn how to crawl. I used to be able to roll. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Like, People know what rolling is. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is all weird to me. Um, I didn't roll until I was like five or six. Uh, like in bed? Yeah. Like yeah. I lay my back and roll over on my stomach or whatever. I got my first wheelchair when I was two and a half. You at two and a half in a wheelchair? It was it. It was a power Wheel wheelchair. Power, yeah. I'm sorry. If you think Shane is immature and annoying now, can you imagine him at two years old in a wheel in a wheelchair? I think that would be adorable though. Like you at like seven in a wheelchair it must have been so, or like twelve. Well, like three. I was really cute. Yeah. Like apparently, my preschool teachers told me that my favorite thing to do. This isn't cute, by the way. When I got my new chair, was to drive either at them or at the wall as fast as I could and then stop like inches away from hitting them. You do that now I know, to me I, all the time. I discovered how fun that was when I was a kid. <laughs> Three. Okay. So yeah, I wasn't really cute. I was a devil. That's cute. <laughs> But my chair gave me all of this new independence that, like, I never had until then. All the other kids were like, ah, oh, we're lucky I'm to get our toys. And I was like, hell. And then I got my chair, and I was like, ooh, power is now mine. <laughs> Did you run over kids, or were you nice? I don't, not on purpose. That's good. I was nice. That's I nice. Think, yeah. No revenge Nothing for all the times I walked yeah. by you. <laughs> Now you will all pay. <laughs> <laughs> there are photos that I've seen of Shane when he was younger, like him holding his hand above his head until, I don't know, how old were you in that photo? Like eight? I'm not sure. I'm yeah. not sure. But so he could, like, yeah, your arms weren't they were lift, skinny. But... I lift my arms above my head, which if I could do that today, I feel like I'd be unstoppable. <laughs> but it's kind of crazy. If you saw our last episode where we were at the park with Reed, Reed has been on. Spin Raza since he was really young. Well, uh, ten doses ago. Yeah. Um, so like three maybe? Yeah. But he is so much more physically able than I was okay. at his age. Yeah. He was like crawling around and like yeah. uh, coming down the slide. I would have never <laughs> been brave enough to do that as a kid. Yeah. Because um, like physically it would have hurt me. So it's cool to see like what that treatment is doing for kids. Yeah. So that is the story of Shane's disease origin and young life. And hearing all of that, how do you feel knowing that that's what's in store for you? Now that you've... Are you asking me or now the that viewers? You, now that I've sucked your blood. Are you asking me or the viewers? You. Me? I haven't sucked their blood. <laughs> you haven't sucked my blood. Bet you know it. <laughs> Have a good day.